My name is Roger Phillips, and I'm a legal officer with the trial chamber of the ECCC. And uh, what this role entails is providing legal advice and assistance to the judges of the trial chamber, in particular at their direction, drafting decisions and the judgments in the case. The, the trial chamber is one of several chambers at the court. Uh, after the investigation is completed, a closing order is submitted. And if charges are envisaged, then it is sent to the trial chamber to assess the truth of the allegations in the closing order. Just prior to moving to Cambodia, I was working at another tribunal called the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda that is located in Tanzania. There, there are a number of differences between this tribunal and that one. Um, the Rwanda Tribunal is purely international in character and is a bit larger as well. But one of the drawbacks of that court is that it was located outside of Rwanda. So one of the things that motivated me in coming to Cambodia was this uh, possibility of getting involved in a court that is located where the, the alleged crimes occurred. And so I, there, there are certain advantages to that, um, not the least of which is this uh, possibility of encouraging as much discussion in the population that is most affected by the, the criminality or alleged criminality. I think one he, that, that arises here is the necessity of doing everything in the three official languages of the court, which are Khmer, English, and French. Um, this, this means that the judgment, in order to be completely fair, uh, should be delivered in three lang the three languages of the court. At another tribunal, it would be in one language with translations to come later. But in some ways, this, this could triple your workload. I mean, you, some might say a little bit less, but th there's an advantage to having multiple languages within the court. That you cross-check certain evidence. All the evidence is looked at primarily in its uh, original language and there can be lively discussions about the meaning of certain terms, but uh, it, it, it's not the most efficient way of proceeding, and it, it has been a challenge. There are many reward, rewarding parts of my, my job, um, but one that I, that I thought of recently is uh, this ability to do outreach um, from time to time, and uh, what I have done is taught a, a course in international criminal law at a local university. And this, this opportunity to work with Cambodian youth and to pass along certain lessons to them, to give them ideas about the development of their own country in the region, it's, it's been a very rewarding experience. I was surprised very much in Cambodia by the traffic. And if you can imagine the first time trying to cross the street here for a foreigner is, is a challenging experience. I, I've heard it said that uh, before you can understand the Cambodian people, you need to understand Cambodian traffic. Uh, 